Now let's discuss about the cardinal number of union of sets. Uh, we have already discussed in previous video what is cardinal number. Cardinal number is actually uh, the total number of number of elements in a set. If I'm yeah, if I'm writing cardinal number in set A, and A is representing cardinal number in the set A, it means uh, total number of total number of elements total number of elements in set A okay and similarly if I'm writing cardinal number of set B then it means total number of elements present in set B similarly if I'm writing cardinal number of A union B then it means same total number of elements in the set A union B similarly if I'm writing cardinal number of A intersection B then it means total number of terms you know in uh, set A intersection B in the figure if you want to see uh, then let me show you in a Venn diagram right uh, suppose this is my Venn diagram this is my set A this is my set B alright set A set B it's union alright so cardinal number of A means total number of terms in section this alright in this section total number of terms in this section how many elements are there alright and cardinal number of B means again same how many elements are there in complete set B that's cardinal number of uh, B and cardinal number of, of uh, A union B means complete this how many how many numbers are in A and how many numbers are in B? All right, this this complete how much is stated with with both color with both color the reason I have stated that is representing my uh, cardinal number of A union B and now cardinal number of A intersection B is just represented those reason which are double stated you know this double stated first it is it has been stated by the uh, this uh, gray 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 color and next time it has been stated by What's that blue color or something something blue like a uh, color right so this reason I'm talking about only this reason is uh, cardinal number of A intersection B now we need to learn a formula based on this we can we can create a formula it's not a formula but you can say we have made that formula ourselves from the uh, from the figure so cardinal number of A union B is is actually what uh, first uh, you can you can write total number of terms in set A that means this complete reason we are, we are discussing about this complete reason all right or uh, we can draw another figure very rough figure I'm drawing okay so uh, if this is my a and if this is my B then uh, to write the cardinal number what I'm doing I'm first setting all this reason I'm taking all the number of elements from A okay and then what I'm doing I'm adding all the elements from B region from this region also I'm taking all the elements alright and while taking this you know I need this complete reason of A and B but you know this reason has been repeated twice this this reason get repeated twice that's why also you can see here double lines is there so one time I have I have to subtract it so that's why I'm subtracting now A intersection B because it has repeated twice so now I, I I got my complete reason I got this my complete reason this which is what N A union B is actually uh, N A N B minus N A intersection B okay so cardinal number of A union B is uh, cardinal number of A plus cardinal number of B minus cardinal number of A intersection B sometimes the same uh, same question same thing we can write something like this uh, cardinal number of A union B means N not A now if I'm writing N not A then what you will understand I'm gonna tell you in this figure this is suppose A and this is B so N not A means only the reason of A only the reason of A only this reason okay or you can say uh, uh, and not a represents actually number of terms from a difference B all right it is in a but not in B I'm not gonna take even the part of a it is but it is in B also so that's why I'm not, I'm not talking taking this part only I'm saying about 
A part. All right. Uh, in this figure, if you want to see, then this part, then this part. All right. This part. This is our and not A. And after that, I'm gonna uh, write and not B. So again, and not B. What do you mean? From and not B, we have to mean that this region only in B. All right. Only in B. All right. Only this this region. This you can see this is uh, B difference A, and this is A difference B. Just in A, just in B, and then to write we need to take this part also. All right. So we have to take now, and I'm going to plus. See that time I subtracted. Now I'm going to plus A intersection B. All right. There is no need to write now not here. Okay. So I'm going to take this part also. So finally I got everything. All right. Finally I got complete this and A union B. All right. And that is and not A and not B plus and A intersection B. So this is another formula for A union B. Right. And A union B. Or you can say cardinal number of uh, A union B. All right. I hope you understand this. And based on this, you know, uh, you have to solve many types of the problems. Uh, and one more one more thing I'm telling this is for the intersecting type of set and if A and B are disjoint sets disjoint means there is no relationship if A and B are something uh, something like this uh, A is here and B is here alright that I'm very simple it is U A B so A union B that time and cardinal number of A union B will be that time total number in A total number in B that's it for the disjoint sets because there is no relationship at all between these two they are completely different to each other so total number of A I will add first and then total number of B I will add that's it alright and uh, let's let's try to solve a, a very simple problem based on this and in next video we will be uh, taking three three sets one A B and C will be doing in next video but here I am taking just one alright suppose a uh, question is something like this uh, suppose uh, in a school or in a club um, Suppose there were 500 players. How many? 500 players. Uh, students, maybe players, all right. And out of that, suppose uh, 200 students play football. Okay. And uh, 350 students play, suppose, basketball. Basketball. Then how many students are playing both? So number of students which are playing both is how much? Question is asking you. There were in school uh, or in, in that club somewhere, suppose in some community, 500 um, players were there and out of that 200 were playing football and 350 were playing basketball. So how many students or how many, I mean, how many players are there which are playing football also and which are playing basketball also? That we need to find out. Okay. So, uh, so to solve this kind of problem, you know, we need to first uh, write that data in proper way. Alright, in the cardinal number way, I'm gonna write that. So number of total number of uh, uh, of players which were learning either football or basketball or both is total how much? 500. And total number of players who were learning football is 200. And total number of players who who were learning basketball is how much? 350. And how many students are there which are learning both football, uh, basketball as well as football? both they are learning is how much so to solve this you know uh, we can use this again this formula uh, now what do we know that uh, number of uh, players learning football uh, or basketball or both is actually total number of players playing football total number of players uh, playing basketball minus total number of players uh, playing basketball as well as football okay so this is how much 500 and number of players playing football is 200 number of uh, players playing basketball is is 350 and number of, uh, number of players who are playing both games is how much this we need to find out right playing basketball as well as football so this is now 500 and this is 200 and 300 so it is 550 minus n b intersection f B intersection F now I'm putting uh, left hand side so B intersection F is going to be now 
550 minus 500. That's going to be 50. So there were 50 students who were playing both. All right. So 50 students were playing uh, basketball also and football also. All right. Uh, you can represent this in uh, in 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 vein diagrams also. Sometimes in the question question may ask you uh, solve by the vein diagram method or represent the given data into the vein diagram. So that time it is better to uh, better to represent in vein diagram. Let's try to represent that. Okay. Suppose this is my A. Oh, not A. This is uh, basketball and this is footballers. Okay. You okay? Altogether, there were 500 students, and uh, how many students were playing both? Now, now we can represent both is playing are 50 students, and um, total basketball player were how much? Total basketball player were 350, and 50 already we have written here. So, how much is left here now? 300. So, 300 students were only playing basketball. Now, this you can say this is only playing basketball. How many students are there? 300. And football. Now, football total players were 200, and 50 is already included. Out of those 250, were playing basketball also. So only football playing, pure footballers were 150. So this is N not F. How much? 150. Okay. And 50, they were playing both. Uh, this is N uh, basketball intersection football. Both they were playing 50 students. This is how to solve this kinds of problem and a lot of difficult difficult problem will come. Don't worry, everything we're gonna we're gonna fight with them. They are very easy, you know, if you if you know how to represent in diagram, vein diagram. So try to learn uh, representing everything into the vein diagram. I will be doing a lot of problems that will definitely help you. And in the next video I'll be uh, I'll be using three sets. Set A, set B or set C. Or any 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 three set. Okay. So if there is any problem while understanding my con uh, my this explanation, then please feel free to comment below this video. You can send me the messages and please don't forget to subscribe the channel.